trying to die. I'm trying to die. I have this noose in my arms, gonna tie it round my neck every day. <laughs> and now for the key change. <laughs> Go on. I'm sorry, but <laughs> oh, ever since. <laughs> Ever since, like, one of my friends made the joke that they couldn't not read the title as Trying to Die, I couldn't not read it as that from now on. In fact, I've been trying to do my own sort of, like, Trying to Die parody of this song. I've only got as far as those four lines, but I, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna, this is going to be some black comedy gold, I think. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, uh, the, the actual song. Um, the, there are some good elements and there are some not so good elements. We'll start with the good. I, I, I like that it's in waltz cadence because... Mm. I mean, we we don't get really that much Eurovision songs in a waltz cadence. Like, uh, usually a typical pop song is in four four time signature, whereas a waltz cadence is in three four. Um, so uh, it, it, so it's doing something slightly interesting at least. Um, and it's um, and I think it's like quite well composed if generic. Um, but <sighs> my. Okay, first of all, um, the key change just sort of like, well, well, it doesn't like, I'm not trying to say that the key change comes out of nowhere, but it's just like, the key change is like, hits you with such force, it's like you're being smacked with a gale force wind, and it's just like, that kind of thing. And, And my main problem with this song now, don't get me wrong. I think uh, Brendan is technically, is speaking, a really good singer. But the tone of his voice, I'm sorry, he sounds like a girl. He sounds like a six-year-old girl. Lolita and- Zero had a deeper voice. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and oh, it's, especially when the key change hits, it's like a chipmunk is inhaled helium and is trying to sing and it's just oh no it's a few years too late for that isn't it do you think do you think do you think we can get brendan to sing get frightened (laughs) he might become the new singer for lolita zero I think I know a lot of people that would pay to hear that. <laughs> I certainly would. <laughs> uh, but um, it's obvious. Anyway, but um, yeah, to cap it off, this this song wouldn't have been so bad if they'd gotten a singer who actually sounded like his testicles had dropped. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's, I got mixed feelings about this song. I also have mixed feelings about this song. It's formulatic, but it doesn't bother me. His voice doesn't annoy me, but at the same time, I cannot take him seriously. Yeah. And the key change, I'm sorry, but it just it sort of comes out of nowhere because I have the feeling that they t- somehow wanted to wake up the audience. <laughs> um, the song itself, it's surprisingly nice. And it's among the better songs that Ireland sent recently, although that's not hard to achieve, let's be honest. <laughs> um, and um, it's kind of a pity that he doesn't have a gender-neutral name because he could have gotten quite a few... Televotes from the carpet munchers. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when I saw that music video, for the first moment I thought that Sally Khan was in it. <laughs> I mean, that haircut, that outfit. <laughs> like, who told you that was a good idea? You look like Sally Khan, you look like Rachel Maddow, you look like Ellen DeGeneres. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brandon, if you're listening to this, but 
<laughs> I was glad that when I saw you in that bed, I was laughing so hard. <laughs> oh. John, do you dare follow this? I'll try. <laughs> um, yeah, X Factor winner single, um, <laughs> Wembley Arena, 10,000 screaming girls with mo- their mobile phone lights on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this song plays and goes to number one for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I'll, t- I'll tell you what else this song reminds me of. Um, do you remember, do you- Kylie, you may remember this. I don't know if you'll know what I'm talking about, Simon, but do you remember um, The Miracle is Mine from Father Ted? No. The epi- the lovely ho- my lovely horse episode. Oh oh, it's the 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 the, the, the rival song that oh they were competing yeah. against. Oh yeah, I remember it now. That's what this song reminds me of. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I like I like the I like the waltz too, and um, I expect this song to turn up eventually on. Uh, Dancing with the Stars Island. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I quite, I quite like, I kind of like the video. I think I can, I think I can follow it. I mean, basically, um, the couple are together and then they're not together and then they're together and then they're not together again. And um, yeah, it, the the guys shaved and when they're together he's got a beard when they're not together he hasn't got a beard <laughs> you know cuz you know i'm not i'm not stupid i can follow these things um <laughs> yeah my only worry with this song is it's hard to enjoy a song when you're spending three the the whole three minutes worrying about whether they're going to hit the notes or not yeah that that is my worry. I mean, hopefully he's going to pull it off on the night. Hopefully. Mm. Um, I f- Personally, I don't know whether this is a qualifier or not. I say probably not. But if they don't qualify, I think the Irish will be quite miffed. To say the least. On, on, on this occasion, yes. Yeah. I think, it, I think it was expected in the last couple of years. But I think they probably think that on to a qualifier with this. Yeah, I know a couple of Irish fans and they're kind of sceptically hopeful. Like, they're kind of thinking... They kind of recognise that they've got a bit of an uphill battle, but they're also kind of thinking that there's so many, so much crap in Semi 2, like... Yeah. <laughs> they, they they got a decent chance of qualifying, at least. Yeah, well, and with this in this semi-final, I think anything's possible. Yeah. <laughs> I think he can qualify if he has a good performance, of course. But mm-hmm. in case he won't have a good performance, uh, yeah, I think he could actually end up lower than last year. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so <coughs> anything else on Ireland before we give the last scores of the week? I like that he is quite genuine in lots of interviews. Yeah. He it's something that... I don't know, with many performers, you just see they kind of, like, fool themselves. <coughs> Omar. <coughs> <laughs> and, um, um, yeah, um, so that's a pleasant surprise. And I hope that he does qualify, because somehow I want to hear this song um, also in the final. Hmm. Yeah, that's bad. But it's borderline, even for me, and I also don't know. Will he qualify, won't he? We'll wait and see. Yeah, we'll see. Mm. Okay, Ireland, Ireland deserve to be in the final. They've missed three in a row now. Yeah. Why couldn't they miss it when Jedward was representing them? Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Okay, so let's give Ireland a score. I'm going to give this a two. Um, three. It's a three. Okay, and the public, they're giving this a two out of five. Okay, so that's that all. That is a shame. That is a shame. Uh, I think that's the uh, just about uh, the only like decent Irish accent I can do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to attempt any further than that. 